the superstar big man from South Carolina by way of Chicago, Kevin Garnett and the Boston Celtics will try to take one on the road in this exhibition game against the Indiana Pacers and their lockdown defender, Danny Granger, the Boston Celtics versus the Indiana Pacers on the 2K Sports Network. The big ticket, the former MVP and defensive player of the year, Kevin Garnett is on the floor and about ready to get this game rolling. Nobody has a more intense game face than KG. This guy gets locked in and puts himself in the zone. He's pure intensity from start to finish. I'm Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg. Cheryl Miller will join us later. And now, as we're about set, T-Mobile presents the starting five lineups. And without further ado, it looks like they're setting up for the tip-off. The Pacers take the tip off and will set up the offense. Hey, hey, hey! Stay there! Ow, to ow. Granger. Murphy. Yo. With the wide open look, Perkins grabs the rock. Murphy had zero oh. defensive pressure. I'm that solid mid range jumper failed him there. Oh, yeah. Granger inbounds the ball. Dishes it to Granger. No one really can take him at the basket that time, Kevin. He's just too good in there to leave the door open for. Rondo dumps it off. He wasn't thinking at all on that pass. That's what you call bad decision making. And now our sideline reporter Cheryl Miller has some information for us. Let's check in with the Gatorade around the cooler update. Well, I had a moment to speak with the head coach of the Pacers. When I asked him what the keys were, he said, break the game into segments. He went on to say, we just have to try and win every quarter. I feel that if we focus on tiny segments, I like our chances. Well, Cheryl, they're in for a battle, but I've seen enough games to know you can't write any team off in this league. Offline. You want to make that medium range jumper most of the time, Kevin. Just a bit off that time. Low block. Nesterovic backs in. Takes it up. Gently drops it in. Perkins inbounds the ball. You can't allow him to establish deep position like that. Once he gets it in that close, he's almost unstoppable. Tipped, but it's recovered by Rondo. The handoff to Garnett. Hit the open man for the great look. 207 left in the first. Passes it to Nesterovic. Granger shoots from 12. Sinks it. Granger got a terrific look at that one. You could tell from the moment it left his fingers that it was going in. The dish to Garnett. Here's Allen. Murphy inhales it. Four. When the defender has the length advantage on you, you better have a plan B. To Rondo. Pierce. Passes it to Garnett. Come around, come around. Has it baseline. Perkins takes it up. Leads him with the pass. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Here's Dunleavy. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. That's a no-brainer. you got to stop the layups there. Make him earn his points from the line. I love where Mike Dunleavy is taking his game with the Indiana Pacers. I do too, Kevin. It's a good system for him in that it's a free-flowing offensive system, but his game is such that he's a basketball player. He makes plays. He makes shots. He plays both ends of the floor, and he's extremely durable. Both teams will make substitutions. Get some both. Coach Rivers wants to talk it over.
Poe inbounds the ball. Allen lobs it to Garnett, rises and dishes, goes up. The layup was good by Allen. Allen used his quicks to good advantage up, there. He hit the afterburners and left his man in the dust. Kick it out, kick it out. You got him, you got him. Right side, right side. Jack dumps it inside. Drops. One assist by the four-year man out of Georgia Tech. The Pacers have to put it together with this run and the points are flowing. What's your view here, Clark? My view is, wow, this is pretty impressive. They're really flowing. Everybody's moving the ball, moving themselves. Their offense is in a nice rhythm. Now, whether they can keep it up or not remains to be seen. Allen. Garnett gets the board inside. When you don't box out, you get your feelings hurt. Who got that man? Poe misses the buzzer beaters. We're at the end of one. The score, 12 to 6. The Pacers have taken the early lead. Well, they're in attack mode now, Kevin. Every time they get the ball, they're coming right at you, looking for contact, and looking for buckets right at the 10. All right, the second quarter should begin momentarily. Poe inbounds it to start the second quarter. Hey, watch outside. To Garnett, backs him down, shoots it up, rips the cord. He was too light to back the defender down, but still was able to create an opening hey, to get I'm the shot off. Yo, yo, I'm open. Post up. Rush, throws it up, misses the deep three-point attempt. Kevin, even with his hey, shooting Bob ability, Bob you Bob can't Bob settle for long-range bombs like that. Hey, who got that guy? To Garnett. Backs in. He's just so gifted offensively, he's a tough guy to match up with. Jack. Dishes it to Take Daniel. Daniel is capable from that distance. The defense didn't close in on him that time, Kevin. Ball, ball. Leads him with the pass. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Jack, finish off the break. Jack knocked it down in the face of the deep. Kevin, I know the flashy dunks make the highlight reel. But these shots count just the same. Here's House. Sweet rebound by the four-year man out of New Mexico. Dishes to Jack. The kick out to Daniels. Shoots. Granger keeps it alive. You've got to keep them off the glass. Somebody should have boxed him out. When he gets it going like this, you've got to double team him. That's your only hope. The dump off to Garnett. Tosses it up. Doesn't get enough under it. The Pacers, with a bucket here, could make it a double digit game. Poked away. That's a bad play there, Kev. I bet he wishes he could take that one back. 114 left in the second. They're running man to man defense. Granger hits the tray. This is called you must extend your defense, especially on the three-point margin. The Celtics call time. Substitution on the court. What's the 
Davis inbounds the ball. Stay on it. Come with you. It's in. Davis. Passes like that are fun That's to watch. Beautiful feed inside for the score. He placed right it perfectly, there. Kevin. To Dunleavy. Go, watch it. Four. Come around, come around. Passes it to Foster. Six Get seconds to shoot. Foster. Get down, Neil. Get it out, get out. Hey, shoot that. Get out right there, right there. Perkins stacks down. Stay on him. Takes it up. Perkins. Perkins isn't a guy who's going to fill it up on you, but that one, he got the fall. Here, they'll want to hold for back one shot. Door, back door. Hey, who got that guy? Dunleavy marks it high, finishes with the soft touch. Dunleavy is really comfortable taking that floater, especially when he's feeling it, Kevin, and he definitely felt it there. And that concludes the first half. The score, 25 to 14. That's a nice lead. Yeah, but still plenty of time left. This game is far from over. Let's go to the T-Mobile Halftime Report. Kevin Garnett is scoring well. He's got six. Danny Granger is our top scorer so far. He's got nine. Let's have a look at the team stats from the first half. The Pacers have built a nice lead thanks to their precision ball movement. That's right, Kevin. Just look at all those assists. That's good team basketball. Well, the second half will begin in just a few moments. Garnett inbounds it to start the second half. Allen Someone's feeds it to Ronda. I'm open, I'm open. No, Backs in. Ronda leads the game and assists. He makes such intelligent plays with the basketball. Always aware, always a threat to score. Four dishes to the middle. That's a bad play there, Kev. I bet he wishes he could take that one back. Time for the Gatorade around the cooler update. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? Well, Kevin, as the Pacers came go, out for go, the go. second half, I spoke with Coach Jim O'Brien. He told me that they'll have to elevate their game if they want to hold on to this lead. He mentioned that he hopes his team picks up their energy for the second half. And if they can't, they could be in trouble. Sounds like he's not too comfortable with his team's performance. Guys? All right. To Garnett. Hold in. The little man made the big rebound. What a play. Stay there. Hey, get the perimeter. Ranger. An explosive finisher just met a more explosive defensive surge. Great battle down low. To Perkins. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was a... Four. The dump off to Granger. Dumps it off to Ford. Hands it off. Six seconds to shoot. But it's recovered by Granger. Swing pass to Ford. Tipped away. The D dared him to put it up and he couldn't make him pay. Garnett backs down, shoots it, got him, got him. scooped up. New ball, just keep shooting. Right, right. Passes it to Murphy. Tip. Get in there. Dunleavy, shooting two. Substitution on the court. He's off on the second. 
149 left in the third. House dumps it off to Pierce. Those are the shot opportunities you want, right in the lane. Go, watch it. The dish to Murphy. Dunley. No good. Normally he sinks that shot. His mid-range game is excellent. He just misfired that time. Backs down. Perkins. Yes. And the foul. Amazing body control. Could not and would not be deterred. Gets it to fall. Dunleavy inbounds the ball. They're D and up, hey, man on, to on. man. Whose man is that? To Ford. Foster. Oh, Goes oh. up. Sinks it. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. 54 seconds left right in the third quarter. Right Dish back, back, to back. Allen. Defensive. Oh, come on. Daniels. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Allen. Shooting two. Gets it to fall. Substitution on the court. He gets them both. Nesterovic finishes with the soft touch. Poe inbounds the ball. Kicked it to the right guy at the right time. That's a good pass. Nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. House passes to Allen. Throws it up. Followed his shot and it paid off. Allen did a nice job of getting open and knocking down the jumper. That's a nice play. Dunley. Oh, he just missed it. But he drew contact, and he'll head to the line. Second personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting two. Knocks it down. And he splits the free throws. House. House. Nothing but net. Assisted by Allen. Foster inbounds the ball. Dunley can't get the buzzer beater. We've reached the end of the third, and it's been an exciting game. The score, 33 to 29. Granger has been playing aggressively. Nine points and two rebounds. Well, Kevin, you don't expect anything less from a player with his ability. Big-time skills and a big-time game leads to a big-time performance. His team needs it, and that's exactly what he's given. All right, the fourth quarter should begin momentarily. Granger inbounds it to start the fourth quarter. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, oh Hall of Famer Cheryl Miller. Cheryl? During the timeout, I listen in by the patient's bench. Coach O'Brien said, those guys slept on you, but you tripped in the tap. It's not over, though. We have to keep working and playing smart to finish the game. Thank you, Cheryl. Wow, was that one special. Complete concentration for the finish. Shooting one. Gets it to fall. Watch outside. Go, yo, set it up, man. Set it up. Perkins. Perkins. Snaps the net. These clubs have been lighting up the scoreboard all game long. Boom. 
You can see how both teams have taken care of the ball so far. What's your take, Clark? This is just solid fundamental basketball here. They're moving the ball with ease and taking care of it at the same time. This is the kind of play that coaches envision when they're drawing up their game plan. Granger tried to sneak in the layup, but the defense distracted him just enough. Get your hands up! Pierce. Granger inbounds the ball. Hey, hey, come around, come around. Kick it out, kick it out. Going inside. To Granger. In a tight game like this, turnovers can really be a backbreaker. You've got to hold on to the ball. Gets the whistle, and he'll shoot free throws. Allen is just on a roll. He's not only leading his team in scoring, but doing it at a very efficient rate. He's letting the game come to him and is just nailing every shot he takes. It's one thing to score points, but it's another when you don't have to force it. Gets them both. Go, set it up. Ball, ball. Watch the high show. Here we go, Selvin. Take it from him. Get the perimeter. Jump ball, ball. The Celtics control the tip. The Celtics with a chance to finally retake the lead. Hey, hey, block, block. Hey, move. Dumps it going hey, inside. Great alley oop pass yeah. there, Kevin. That's highlight reel for real. Allen just keeps drilling the big shot. They need to design a way to get the ball out of his hand. The Pacers will call a full timeout. They're losing by one. 2-12, left to the fourth. Murphy inbounds the ball to Ford. Granger. Flips it in for two. The Celtics will call a full timeout. Drop the tough three point. Right there. The the Lob to Dunleavy. Backs in. Dumps it off. Dunleavy. Rebounded. 132. Left to the fourth. Allen. Rebounded. Puts it up. Great second effort. What a play. Coach O'Brien calls a timeout. They're behind by one. 125 left in the game. Mark, what do you think? Granger is such a great scorer for this team, and he's made a reputation on being able to make big shots late in games. So I've got to think they're coming to him for this play. Murphy inbounds the ball. To the left side. Four hands it off to Watch Granger. Dishes On to Ford. Way. The Pacers with the bucket. So the Celtics call for a 20 second timeout. Rondo. Hands it off to Allen. Dishes to the top of the key. Garnett on the money. Great assist on that basket. He's seeing the floor well and he's making some beautiful passes. Less than one minute left. 
man is that? The handoff to Murphy. To Dunleavy. Releases. Knocks down the three. Big possession. The crowd on the edge of their seats. Garnett. Big time basket in the clutch, Kevin. The Pacers call timeout here and take their last 20-second timeout. Nesterovic inbounds the ball. Back, back out. Oh, right there. Ball, ball. Dunley gets the lay in. The Celtics take their last timeout. They trailed by two. 11 seconds left in the game. Clark, what are your thoughts? Talk about a really big possession. This is it. They've got a score here. They need a basket. Don't worry about the clock at this point. Make sure you get a high-quality shot and knock it down. Passes back to Pierce Perkins. It falls. Kev, you can't let him get the ball that close to the basket. By that time, it's already too late. The Pacers with their last timeout. Murphy inbounds the ball. Tosses it up. Oh! Oh, couldn't sink the shot, and we're going to overtime. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. All right, the jump ball should take place momentarily. A crucial bucket jump to keep ball, this ball. thing going, Kev. Outstanding. Yeah, what a play. The Pacers control the tip. I'm done, I'm done. The alley-oop. That's a bad play there, Kev. I bet he wishes he could take that one back. Rondo. Sweet rebound by the six-year veteran out of Texas. The D was lurking on that one, and it was just enough to throw off the shot. Ford passes to Granger. Gets it to ball. Well, he certainly can't be happy leaving points at the line, but at least he got them to leave. Get the perimeter! Down low! Down low! Hey, shoot that! Garnett backs him down. The Pacers get the tip. Dunley hands it off to Granger. Hey, come around, come around. It's good. Yeah. Some guys will try to overpower you at the rim, but he likes to elude you and trick you. He's got quickness and the soft touch. The Celtics take a full timeout. They're down by three. 109 left in overtime. Clark, what's your take? Garnett has been sizzling. You'd like to see him get the ball out of this timeout. Garnett inbounds the ball. Go, watch. Swing out. Watch to the right. left wing. Get him right. 
Pierce. Watch. Sends it back. Four of these teams are really getting after it. Shut up. Shut up. Pass back, back to the up. left side. Dunley dumps it off. Seven on the shot clock. To Nesterovic. The shot clock expires and they turn it over. I'm all for trying to get the best shot. But when that 24 seconds is down to the wire, you got to get something up on the rim. Rondo is really doing a great job of finding the open man, and he has his team working in harmony because of it. It's like he has a second set of eyes. He is doing such a great job of distributing, Clark. How do you counteract that? Indiana needs to put more pressure on the ball and to try to force him to give it up before he gets comfortable. Garnett inbounds the ball. A victory in overtime is still within their reach, but they have to be efficient, Kevin. Pierce. And the foul. Knocks it down. You don't expect anything less when he's at the line. He's just a terrific free throw shooter. Here we go. Four passes way down court. My goodness, he can't be happy about that play. That was ugly. Rondo. Grace yeah. will finish. His agility and soft touch really paid off there. Not many players could have laid that in. Nesterovic. Oh, oh, man. Oh, heartbreak. All or nothing there, and he couldn't knock it down. The Celtics with a thrilling victory as they defeat the Pacers 49-48. to For his impressive performance, Garnett is the Jordan Brand player of the game. Well, Kevin, he was just unconscious in the fourth quarter, hitting big shot after big shot. Well, that's it for us. On behalf of Clark Kellogg, Cheryl Miller, and me, Kevin Harlan, thanks for tuning in to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports.